What do you want? All right. Our normal process for petitions to remind folks is to receive. Oh, do you have a petition? Oh, I'm so sorry. These are the things not on the agenda. OK, do you have a petition? Bring them forward. It's Sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. We just had you signed up as an individual, so didn't know it was a petition. We we're going to ask for comments. But we lump our petitions together. So please, welcome. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, that'd be great. Sorry. I'll remind folks in a minute, but yeah. And if you'll speak into the microphone. So I wrote something up um, to say to you guys. Um, Dear Mayor and Council, my name is Crystal Ferguson. I am a Community Navigation Manager at Interfaith Council for Social Service, where I work in assisting members of the community facing or experiencing homelessness with resources and getting service connected with other community partners so that they may sustain a quality of life. In 2022, we have lost two of our members to car accident fatalities, as well as had numerous members obtain bodily injury as a result of getting struck by a vehicle walking to and from the convenience store Family Fair located on MLK near Taylor Road. This convenience store is located in close proximity to our men's shelter, as well as one of the primary affordable housing subdivisions in Chapel Hill, Ashley Forest, being located right across the street. On December 29, 2022, Christian A. Ball, a Chapel Hill resident, was struck by a vehicle and died of severe bodily injury en route to UNC Hospital. I personally spoke with this individual just hours before this incident where he was walking through our parking lot as he was leaving work trying to catch the bus home. He stopped to thank us for all we had done for him and tell us of all the good that had come from it. Chris, who had previously found shelter in the garage of IFC Commons for over a year, had been housed in Ashley Forest just several months before with the help of several community partners such as SORAD and Orange County Criminal Justice Resource Department. After finally re receiving a housing choice voucher and numerous attempts to search for housing, he was so proud to finally have a place of his own. He went on to say how he was stepping away from old habits and friends and trying to give back to others that were going through what he went through. As Chris would say, God put me here to help, so I have to take care of them. I have to give back. He bragged about having a tax-paying job and reconnecting with his kids after being estranged for an extended period of time. This man loved life. His presence could take most of the staff at IFC from wanting to pull our hair out in one moment from dealing with him and filling the room with laughter in the very next moment. On September 8, 2022, Thomas Filter, another Chapel Hill resident and IFC member, passed away from being hit by a vehicle in the same area on the scene shortly after getting off the bus. <clears throat> this continues to be a problem. Local news is reporting the numbers are continuing to go up year after year. For the safety of our community, I am asking the town to provide a crosswalk at the intersection of MLK and Taylor Road in Chapel Hill. I'm also asking that funding be provided for a reflector vest and or equipment to vulnerable Orange County residents experiencing homelessness. These individuals are neighbors, friends, and family members. Their lives have value and their safety is important. Go ahead. Thank you for bringing this forward. Um, we had an interesting discussion today about Vision Zero and the fact that the fatalities are not improving and that we need to take real action in this. You put the story the tragic story um, to light here. And so we appreciate you advocating and coming forward. And we, yes, we need to not, this not, this doesn't need to be an outcome. We need to make sure that we keep people safe. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. It's our normal process to receive and refer petitions to the manager and mayor for review. Oh, um, we receive and okay. refer. <laughs> Second. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm all emotional at the moment. So there we go. Okay. It's been moved and seconded. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Uh, any opposed, please say nay. Motion is unanimous. Are there any individuals wishing to speak without a petition to come forward on items not on the printed agenda this evening? Okay. Well, we'll wait for you to come forward on other items then. Um, again, all right. Uh, we have a consent agenda before us, Council. I'll move the consent agenda. Second. It's been moved by Ms. Anderson, second by Ms. Barry to move the consent agenda. Any discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Any 